Let's say good morning to you. Our text this morning is Matthew chapter 6 and verse 20 and 21. It says, But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. You ever stop to think through this? If God blesses you with wealth, you must remember not to take your eyes off of the one, God it is, who gives you the opportunity to gain wealth. I discover that sometimes people uh, are around, they don't have a proper job, they're begging for a ride, and then they ask people to pray that they get a better job or that they get a promotion. And when they get that better job or promotion, you know some of them leave church and some of them forget that it is God who gave them the power to gain that wealth. We mustn't be like that. Uh, we're being ungrateful. Don't be like that. If God bless you with wealth, you must not stop serving him. He is the source. Think about this. This is a serious point. What do you need to enjoy wealth? Well, the main thing you need is a healthy life. And it is God who provides that healthy life also. So as you go through the day, remember the text says, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Remember the text says that. Why do I remind you of that? I remind you of that because one day, we will die and leave our wealth. That is not something for you to be scared of. However, if during your period of lifetime, you had made sure that you gave back to God what belonged to him and that you assist the poor and the needy and that you are a good steward, when that time comes for you to exit this world, you will not exit this world kicking and screaming and not wanting to go, you would have satisfied yourself that your treasure is up in heaven. And praise God that one day, those who have the treasure up in heaven, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and live for, for him and put, give, put wealth in the correct place, those individuals will get a chance to enjoy more wealth than you ever saw in one lifetime. God and Father, guide us as we go through the day and bless the wealthy as well as bless those who are trying to accumulate wealth right now and show them that when they accumulate wealth, they need to make sure that they lay up treasure in heaven uh, by being good stewards of the wealth and by making sure that they live for you and you alone. Bless us as we go through the day, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. May God richly bless you.